Hello and welcome. Today is Thursday, 15th day of June, 2017. Welcome. Let's take a look at some precious metals for today. We'll start off within the two hour time frame within the silver market, which from the about the 7th through the 14th in this long standing uh, declining uh, facet, finding resistance consistently amongst the 18 average of lows. After that stage, market stabilizes, and these are the types of moves you can only expect within these COMEX, Forex, all these types of financial institute markets. It's very rare to see the failed move, fast move setup in this facet within the cryptocurrency uh, charts. Yeah, sometimes, but very common in here making it probably a frustrating thing to work with as far as a trader but when you're used to these situations then you try to find it how do i play this to my advantage but from the point you have this uh, great breakout this is before janet yellen and the fed is going to say yada 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 and well she said yada 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 and anytime you know yada yada said that's going to make the markets go up slash down you pick which one it is no 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 they pick which one it is because yeah i've heard it before oh when employment numbers do this markets go up or markets go down on the same news a month beforehand yeah i just feel myself that the institutions that are able to move these markets, the big game players, as wildly as they want to. Well, that's how it's being moved. And with that being stated, after this occurred, fast move back down and sideways action starting to go lower, continuation of the trend. This level of support has been stabilized for a little bit. Now on to the daily time frame and so much of the straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. And that's what it is doing right now is the straight down after this straight up session. Resisting a couple occasions on the newly declining 18 average of uh, lows. And it looks as if right now this thing is uh, looking to break support and probably test an area somewhere within this range if of course uh, that's the case but whenever I see the situation of an uptrend like this band flattens out comes up towards the band starts to decline then that's definitely a bearish setup as this is playing let's move on to gold and it is on the daily time frame Showing a similar kind of pattern. Silver has already established support looking to break through. On this case, gold is looking to establish support because you have this up move, band goes flat. Now the next step to reverse trend is go down and establish a level of support. So if this is the case, that's where it is. If it goes down a bit further and uh, then you'd be looking for a move that has some sort of correctionary move to the band and then a break of support. But regardless of the matter, how, uh, how often has that been happening as far as that setup? In here, when it went below the band, it, well, it would just it didn't go back lower, so that setup never occurred. In here, you can say not really. No, it just went down and had a good move lower. In here, because you had a few periods, it wasn't a bad opportunity in here to be very to be very bearish, as it was breaking this support. And now, yeah, it's not that, not a bad idea to be a little bearish again, looking to maybe have a continuation within uh, this downtrend. But I I don't like the risk reward overall in setups like this because you're playing for a move of going from 54 maybe to 39 that's like 15 basis points and you know what 15 basis points the other side it wouldn't surprise me if it made a play like that so nor i wouldn't normally uh look for a better setup i would want to see maybe like again move to the support here maybe some sort of correction move up to say 1260 something then as it's pulling down at that stage is when I would think, okay, yeah, I like my risk reward probabilities for a, a leg lower on the uh, a chart format like this. But overall, 
you still got the pattern in here of this low. All of them are lower than before, a bunch of uh, higher highs. So even if it does come down to 12.30, 12.35 and eventually makes it through, then uh, that would be yet another higher high or a higher low. And maybe it's also looking pretty choppy as well over the last few uh, weeks as it has been in the sideways range of the 1200 region. Within the weekly time frame, however, we can uh, see that it's in an uptrend. It's in the lower end of it. It can, again, we can see a little bit downside action, maybe to this uh, 18 average of lows. But it's making higher high, back to the band low, higher high, back to the band low, matching high which is the whole neutrality part of the 1200 range that I'm talking about. And that can lead to uh, even having a higher, a higher chance of testing 1220, but just a lot of more cautionary reasons that this is going sideways at the 1200 mark. And on a break of 1300, that would be, especially if it takes maybe three or four weeks, five weeks to do it, a break of this number, I'd be liking the odds of it making a move to the next upper area of around 1370. Palladium has uh, sold off just a little bit recently, but you can't notice much of it within this chart because it's in a storming uptrend currently above the 18 average. It has already broken this resistance level. So it's going to be interesting how this thing plays out. But when I put more shorter term charts, it might look like things are cheap and maybe they are. But because of the fact that it's not uncommon to break a trend line like this barely and then just go back within it, there's something to think of and it will need a band test along the way. But because it has broken that trend line and it's had this just, just this one day or one week rather correctionary move, that if it can get above here with it, it makes it a little bit easier to think, yeah, I think I can uh, get a decent gain on a break of this point. Let's uh, take a look at this on the daily. And on such, we can see the decline of these two days. If you've been looking to buy at 900, yeah, yeah, it's cheaper, $35 off, $35 off. That's a deal, a little one. Maybe you can get a better deal. I don't know because it is back to this 18 average showing the correctionary phase. And as I was stating on the weekly chart on a break above such, it would look good because what I want to see is after a nice leg higher, and this is a nice leg, a move to the band. And that's what this is, is a move to the band. And of course, if it continues further like this and I'm seeing price action, 925, 930. Yeah. I, I kind of like the, uh, chances that, uh, I can get a good gain with that being stated. It can most certainly have further decline as oftentimes markets can come back to where they came from. And it's so obvious in here that it came from about the area of about 800 to 820. The hourly chart brings an interesting dynamic because I've talked a lot about uh, just wanting to find this on strength. Here's a declining 18 average, resisting it again in here. Then all of a sudden now, starting to flatten out. Nice green candle, nice follow through green candle. Band starting to rise. Markets oftentimes come back to where they come from. So if you're trying to make a short term scalp in here, I think, you know what, maybe not a bad idea to play to, play to this point. But what I would rather look for is for it to show me a reason to buy because I know if it comes up, back down, anything like that, that's good. If it can correct through time for maybe the rest of the day or for a few periods when I look at a, a candlestick chart like this and I can see that it's holding this 18 well, the uh, sellers aren't all that active and buyers are aggressively coming in when they do, those types of mechanisms then that, yeah, that's when I would be looking for an entry position or a spot. Yeah, I think there's a good chance to go long. Now, I'm not, there's no way that don't, I would trade this other than in the physical game, something I am actually considering uh, purchasing. But uh, 
as far as just the actual chart reading analysis skills, it looks as if this has the potential in the near term that uh, uh, as time to buy would uh, come into play. You can also throw in, okay, decent volume, but you know what, that doesn't necessarily mean that's uh, enough to go along. This thing can roll over, and then the next day you could have volume three times higher than that, which would be the bottom as one example. Let's uh, conclude this with platinum. Looking at it on the daily chart, and situation in here after trying to attempt to get this market bullish with an obvious lower high, breaking already down below this previous support mark band is starting to go on the south side. Three periods ago, down day, yesterday, up day, today, down day that this does look as if there's some bearish setups coming into play that should uh, give a test of this previous low. And thank you for tuning in and uh, have yourself a great day. And anything I talk about, everything I say is upon your own risk, own reward on how you want to use this information. So all risks and rewards associated with any place from this that's what it's all about. It's at your own risk and at your own reward. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.